Today on the dirt bike track, we learned that if the Toku community's gonna hate us, might as well give them a reason. So, on this week's episode, we're finally going to keep it real. We're gonna speak our truth, no sugarcoating, no tiptoeing, no pandering. AKA, just keep on doing what we've been doing for the last five years because it's been reason enough to make Toku Twitter not interested. My name is James. I'm Nicole. And this is Mostly, Mostly Speaking, Speaking Spider Man. Like I said, my name is James, and guys, guess what? I'm Ebenezer Second Chance, brother. <laughs> oh, what happened on Christmas Day? Me. I gave Ebenezer his second chance. Scrooge McDuck, too? They're all Ebenezers. Your father, who might have said, like, I'm not going to buy you that game, but then it showed up on Christmas? That's me. I'm an Ebenezer second chance. And I got to introduce my guest to explain what the fudge I just was talking about. Oh, guest. Okay. Oh, no, I meant, dang it. What are you talking? Oh, you think I accidentally said guest? Uh, co-host? Oh, dang it, you. I gotta get it clean so I can insert it in. Oh. <laughs> oh. Co-host, dang it. Oh, now say it as foof oof. No. I gotta introduce my e -shit. guest host because, you know, Sean was partaking. We got to introduce her back as host of the show with the ghost with the most. It's the Iron Cross Killer, the Emissary of Hell, the Bricks, Nicole Jakis, DarlingHomebody.com. Whoa. How are you? Good. So there's this song by like some Francis lady, I think, called Went to L.A. Give them the proper credit. I, okay, fine. Fuck. I don't think I'll be able to pronounce their last name. It's like then Jones. Then spell it. J-O-N-E-S. I'm kidding. This ain't Nora Jones. Okay. They sing a song. Francis it, Quinlan. The, the lyrics are heaven is a second chance. And okay, so I always play Better Oblivion Community Center at work. And every single time, like five songs after that, the Spotify algorithm plays this song by her called Went to LA. I'm never like fully paying attention but I really like the song. So I eventually, when it played last Sunday, I ran to the desk, figured out what it was, took a photo of what was playing. And then I played it for Nicole. And I was like, yeah, I, I couldn't find the song. I was just trying to find like Ebenezer song. And Nicole rightfully roasted my ass because... Because the lyrics oh, were... Oh, yeah, you already said the lyrics. Heaven is a, is a second chance. I thought it was Ebenezer's second chance. I was like, okay, is Ebenezer, like, are they talking about, like, Scrooge? Are they talking about, like, maybe it's Beethoven's first? Like, maybe it's Ebenezer's second, you know? I don't know. It's an orchestra. Laugh into the mic. It's fine. Yeah. But I was made a fool. It was really funny. Yeah, so now we've just been saying Ebenezer the entire week. <laughs> and I'm Ebenezer second chance. Christmas came on time. It's came the 25th. Twice. Oh, dang. Christmas Eve came twice. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's my friend Eve on Christmas. That's the one day a year she's allowed to come twice. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Because normally she edges. Yeah. Until one final explosion. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> like the atom bomb, baby. That's such a... Isn't it fucked up that the atom bomb exists? Yes. Wowzers. You really... Why don't you think That's of it as an adult? what the whole movie is about. What movie? Barbie. Isn't that Oppenheimer? Oh, I thought it was Watchmen you were talking about. <laughs> It's about him making the bomb and then him being like, what the fuck did I do? Yeah, and then people kind of like owning him of being like, huh, what, you have regrets? What are you yeah. talking about? We won. Yeah. It's like, no, this was bad. Yeah. Now, now everyone else is doing it. Yeah. Then Fallout happens, you know? Our our guest today has been yeah. playing Fallout for the first time I it's hear. It's like, do they ever make a movie about the devastating actual after effects that happened to the... 
people that the bomb was dropped on? No. Well, I mean, the United States hasn't. Japan has. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The A little US. thing called Godzilla. I'm saying the U.S., <laughs> James. <laughs> they're, no, they're like, oh, look at this this sad white man. Yeah, man, he's sad and he's white. Why? <laughs> huh? Actually, I think out of all the white men, he has a reason to I be mean, sad. I mean, honestly, yeah, it is. It's like this cis straight white man. How, why? There's no reason for you to be sad. Yeah, and he had such a smoking hot wife. So it's like we gotta wife. figure this out. That wife has no thigh gap. You know, <laughs> the thigh gap is such fucking bullshit. Yeah, I don't even know what it really means. Body There's a image gap bullshit. Your thighs. Whoa. It's not even a thing. It's from Photoshop. Oh. Like you Photoshop that shit out because it's not a thing. How, how? What's the radius of the Earth? Because that's my fucking, thigh gap minus know. like how big my thighs are. From this, you go that way, and then it ro- like c- catches the other side. That's yeah. the radius of the Earth. Everyone pretty much has the same size thigh gap, unless you're on the moon, because it's, then it's the radius of the moon. Unless you're doing the splits. Oh, oh, then it's um, then it's to the stars. Yeah, because it's the it's the universe. We on our <laughs> podcast that we were talking about. I started thinking about how big the universe was. I was like, I gotta stop this right now. <laughs> you gonna freak out? <laughs> yeah. Stop fucking freaking out. Okay, guys, we gotta introduce him. <laughs> he is from Hidden and Credit, but currently my fellow host on Marshland Media's most popular podcast. We get the numbers, but we don't get the comments. Please listen to the show that is called Death, Death to Squid. Hey guys, it's Jose. Jose, tell us about this show. Uh, uh, Death to Squid. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, it started off with us watching Transfers, but uh-huh. getting d- stupid high and uh-huh. reviewing it. Which was your idea. At first yeah. I was like, yeah, I guess you can be. And you were like, no, let's both get high. I was like, I guess that would differentiate the podcast. Yeah. So we get stupid high. We watched, we started with Trancers and then we moved on to some other stuff. And right now we're currently on Starship Troopers. Uh-huh. Having a blast. It's sick. Yeah, this, we did Cyborg. That was the other one. That, that was, was the, the second one was a little <laughs> iffy. You'll find out our, why it was iffy. But not Waddy Way. If it were Iffy Waddy Way, that'd be a good movie. It probably would. Uh-huh. Yeah. Best movie, I think, so far that we've seen on there was Transfer 6. Oh, yeah. Which I, we don't know if it's actually good or if <laughs> yeah, we were just no. right high, right moment. But I'm excited for Starship Troopers. And then after that, I th- I say we just say, fuck it, go full force into Resident Evil. I'm down. Yeah. I'm down. And then we got to do the Sharknado soon. I mean, it would, you know, be 12 weeks before we get, because it's an every other week show, guys. Yeah. Can't be getting blitzed high once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I definitely yeah, don't. Definitely not. Only once, definitely, once a week. Definitely. Yes. This kid yes. once, I was like, I got these are forty milligrams a piece, and then you just like, <laughs> you're like, yeah, I took it all. I was like, excuse me, <laughs> how? I just ate it. <laughs> then I gave the tiniest sliver to Joe, and he was like, wait, it was forty. Mi- how much did I take? I was like, maybe three milligrams, and he goes, oh fuck me. Uh, <laughs> I guess I don't get stoned that often. <laughs> uh, Death to Squids, guys. Please go listen go to it. it it's so fun. Uh, the, Is that on the Patreon? Or no, not? no. That's how, everywhere, everywhere you're listening to this in the Marshland Media podcast feed. Wherever you're listening to this, you can get Death to Squids for free. But is it spelled death like Jack Death? Yes. It's so D-E-T-H. Yes. And then two, uh, the letter two, not the letter two, the word two, and then squids. It's a picture of squid. T O. Yeah, T O. Oh, make sure you put the emoji of the squid on there, though. Uh huh. You have to do that. You bet in the inking one too. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. (laughs) I inked. Wow. So uh, yeah, guys. Truly, the reviews we've been reading have been great. Oh my god. Uh, I I need to tell you something. Yeah. I think they f- followed me as well. Carlo V and I are like, f- in quotes, friends now. So I was pulling reviews for You're this mute. week's, this, the what? <laughs> oh, we're mutuals. Yeah. Uh, I was pulling reviews for This Existed. We're doing Stay Alive. Okay. And the first review that pops up is, hey, a a friend of yours reviewed this. It was Carlo V. (laughs) And it's crazy how often 
other rev- like I will see the same reviewer on so many of the movies that I watch. So I'm like, yeah, there are other people like me out there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Carlo V was the one with the the best. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, In I, relation I to Sand think- yeah. on uh, Cyborgs Three. Yes. That was a great episode. It's such a good review. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I remember we were dying. Oh, I know it, but I will not say it. <laughs> and then I think that was James the- told me them like the next day while I was getting ready for work and I was dying <laughs> laughing. Uh-huh. Fucking li- like some of these yeah. reviews are so good. Uh-huh. And I start talking about the lonely bones on it. And your reaction to that is perfect. Guys, please listen to Death to Squids. It's fantastic. <laughs> but- Let's let's get into today's subject. Yeah. It's been a while since we've had a proper Spider-Man episode. A yeah. while since you've been in here. So, Jose, what's your experience with the web crawler at large? Oh man. I used to watch a lot of Spectacular Spider-Man, the animated series. The one that was on like WB Kids on Saturdays. Mm-hmm. I watched that a lot. And then just like the Spider-Man movies from the early two thousands and everything that's come out since. I've watched a, quite a bit of Spider-Man content, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think my favorite is, and this is because my favorite is the Spectacular Spider-Man animated series. That Hell one's yeah. one. That one's really good. See, this is weird because you're, I think, like six years younger than us. So you don't even know this the '90s Spider-Man, do you? A little bit. My okay. sisters showed it to me once, and I that was it. That's my extent of it. But yeah, no, just all everything past 2001. I remember. I am, okay. All of the Spider-Man content I probably have seen, but I I just really like Spider-Man. I think uh, you can't like who doesn't? Yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's a fun-loving teen, no matter what. Yeah. I mean, not in this, not noir Spider-Man. Sometimes he's just a bunch of spiders. Oh, don't tell me the the pictures. Oh yeah, it's real gross. Yeah. Nicole loves that one. I hate it, but oh. I love it. Okay. <laughs> it's so disgusting. You love it. Yeah. That's how Nicole describes her relationship with me to new people. Wow. I hate it, but I love it, and it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Not him, my love for it. Or no, his love for me. Yeah. That must be a really wild conversation. <laughs> uh-huh. We've had it before. You were like, oh, yeah, so like, uh, who's who's this lady in here? And then Nicole gives that spiel. That was like six years ago. That, God, don't, don't do that. We're getting close to our six-year friendship. Don't do that to me. <laughs> oh, man. So what were your initial thoughts of Toei's Spider-Man? I enjoyed it. Hell yeah. Uh, I think just because of watching all the Super Sentai series with you, with you two, mm-hmm. I just enjoy the vibe of these shows. Yeah. It just seems kind of, I don't know, it just reminds me of being a kid, mm-hmm. watching those shows that were around, around that time, and just a lot of, like, Saturdays, I remember growing up watching a bunch of, like, the free television. Yeah. And it just kind of seems like some of the stuff that would have been on at that time. Oh, yeah. So. Because even though we didn't grow up in the 70s and shit, there were, like, monster movies from Japan on those Saturday mornings, yeah. so, like, aesthetically, we still get nostalgia for it because... Especially when they are fighting monsters, that deep blue, like beautiful blue background of the sky, that is the same in like a lot of Showa era tokusatsu. So it it's just cozy. It is. It just it's a good time. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're gonna see some weird shit sometimes. Just enjoy it. Yeah, Nicole. What? How are you feeling about this one? I think this is like my second favorite episode. Hell yeah! Like for real. I because I was like, it's a weird one in a wild one, but I guess they all are. But it's very depressing. But it actually has somewhat of a happy ending. Yeah. Opposed to most of them, where like we told you, Jose. That generally a, a parent dies in the end, or both parents die in the end sometimes too. Yeah, I the way this episode ended was not how I thought it was gonna go. I thought it was gonna be like deeper into the the whole roaches thing, but mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I yeah. honestly truly thought they were gonna murder that child. Oh yeah, like <laughs> he just gets gassed out yes, in the end. I really did. I was like, oh wow, they're doing this. I would have loved it if because I love what the dad says because we're on the subject he goes 
I can't give up international secrets from Interpol to alien terrorists. That's his sentiment. And like the kid says, I know father and goes willingly into this gas chamber Yeah, that the gas is coming out of a cockroach's antenna. And it would have been great if he dies. And then he has like a like military funeral where the emperor of Japan is like giving him a congressional silver medal. That would have been nice. It would have been wild. Yeah. Dad's crying. Interpol's like shaking his father's hand saying you did right, but your di- your son did better. But they also kind of set it up like, oh, the mom has a weak heart. I was like, she's going to die. Oh, yeah. yeah I Dad, thought that was going to happen for yeah. sure. She gets the news that her son dies, but heroically, but she's like so excited he died heroically. She, it messes up her heart and she dies. Why did you say excited? Because he died a hero. That roach kid, you think she had positive outlooks on his prospects in the future? She didn't know what was going on with her son. Oh, she knew. She had no idea. She was in her bed all the time. Uh, You want to know why she was in her bed all the time? So she didn't have to spend time with this kid playing with roaches. Oh, my God. Kid deserves to be (laughs) DDT'd on a sidewalk, no less. DDT is wild. (laughs) Uh Uh-huh. Oh, we should say, today we're discussing episode 24 of Toei Spider-Man entitled Crusade for the Cockroach Boy. I thought it was going to be a whole, like a totally different episode, to be honest with you, man. You thought it was going to be a little boy who was a cockroach? No, I thought he was going to like become the villain by oh, the end yeah. of the episode. That has happened before. You know, like he's like, oh, you know, my father's gone, but we don't need him anymore. And then like becomes a cockroach Becomes kid. a cockroach. <laughs> I'm the cockroach kid, you know? I stole all of this so I can feed my mother and now I'm going to fight the, all of everybody here. Hey, Oppenheimer, you can't get me. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that roach was made because of Oppenheimer. Okay, all right. <laughs> no, they were made because of alien technology. Gotcha. Okay, you're right. Uh, I wonder if there is a documentary on the planet that Professor Monster is from. Not a documentary, a biopic about how like evil this man was of like, yeah, he created this tech to save our world to create these BEM monsters. But he regrets it. Oh, he doesn't? All right. Uh, We wish he did. (laughs) Like on his planet? Yeah, on his planet. Okay. And then there's someone, uh, Nicole Monster version on that planet saying like, oh, yeah, it's like crazy. They They made this biopic about this. This sad science man, but not about the people he affected. Yeah. And then I'm over here saying, uh, yeah, what's he got to be sad about? (laughs) But it's a cockroach version of him. (laughs) What the fuck is, yeah. Not the cock, the BEM (laughs) monster version of me. Yeah. Oh, man. And then we start, then he's Ebenezer's second chance as well. God damn it. Okay, I have to stop. (laughs) Ebenezer, second chance. Oh my god. Okay, so this starts out. Oh, real quick, like a kid's dad gets taken because he's a gratuitor for a, a loan, and then the kid tries to find him, but there's a big old cockroach. But this kid kind of likes cockroaches. So wait, so is that kind of like co-signing for a loan? Yeah. Okay. You become the collateral. Got it. I was just signed up my tight little ass. And if it's a loan shark, you know, people can be collateral because why yeah. not? Yeah. Because they're criminals. It would have been cool if I was the collateral in my father's loan. So when like the uh, the banks pulled all the loans in like 2008, that created that recession. They took me and then I'm like, I'm working for the bank. <laughs> I'm like a boss baby. <laughs> 2007? Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Uh Uh-huh. I was a little baby back then. (laughs) Wow. Actually, you were a teenager, but... Yeah. yeah. A child. A little baby. You know? Teens are childs. And childs are teens. (laughs) They can watch (laughs) PG-13. If a kid wants to watch Critters, let him. Critters 2, yeah, he's going to see some boobies. Just not Cyborg 2. No, no. Everybody never see Cyborg 2. Yeah, and if you do, just skip forward a <laughs> lot in one specific area. Watch the last five minutes. That's all you need. Oh, yeah, the last five. No, I think the first, <laughs> like, it's very vibey in the lighting and such. It's a sci-fi movie. Yeah. So oh. watch the first ten and the last five. Yeah, okay. 
15 minute episode. That's it. In Fast Five. Or there is a scene where like it seems like the two leads are going to start, you know, pounding it out. That's when you start skipping. Yeah, you don't need to watch Bumpin' Uglies. Uh Uh-uh. There's a specific reason listen to Death to Squids. Okay. This, we start out at a castle themed train playground for kids. Because there's a castle gate around the entire place, but there's just a, a a train engine. Yeah. Why? Because it's man. a playground. Yeah, it's okay. a park playground. So this is like what the seventies? Yeah. Yeah, dude, they had weird shit back yeah. then. Uh, yeah, I guess like we we had tanks at some of our parks sitting out front that you could like climb on. Yeah. That's actually kind of rad. Oh, okay. Oh, we got to go to Muskegon someday. I'm down. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. Always down for a road trip. So this kid, he's sad that his dad's not around. So he goes underneath the train where he has a stash of some alive, but then some dead cockroaches. And he just like ham fists a bunch and shoves it into <laughs> his pocket. And he goes to the grocery store that's like lit wildly, but in such a cozy way. Like there's no windows in this grocery store. I guess most don't, but it's also underground. It's weird. So he starts like putting it on people's like coats and stuff. And it goes on, what is her name? Hakase, the sister's name. And... (laughs) She looks at it, and she's like, ah, freaking out as a kid runs away gleefully. And Takuya goes up, picks it up, and he says, don't freak out. It's dead, which is crazy that the only situation that that is a reassurance, like, oh, there's a dead thing on me, is bugs, like, opposed to it being alive. Like, if there's a snake on me, I would rather, like, if someone threw a snake on me, I'm like, oh, it's a live snake. But if it's a dead snake... (laughs) That's disgusting. <laughs> Imagine if like a dead dog fell on you, <laughs> opposed to a live dog fall. A gorp. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that video? No. Oh, it's this dog trying to like <laughs> jump up, but it lands on its side, and it's cut so perfectly of the dog just going gorp. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really funny video. A uh, gorp well, dog. I gotta look that up later. Uh, but wait, I want to share my video that I love. What's up? Where the dog farts and the cat starts <laughs> starts <laughs> gay. Okay. <laughs> they go, Mati, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it throws up from like way up high. Uh-huh. Wowzers. <laughs> And, and the it, fart it got, happens in like yeah. two the seconds. The fart got up that high. It's so funny. How do we do we hear the fart? I think so. Okay. Does it go gorp? I wish. We gotta show you the gorp you thing. You have to. <laughs> There's a YouTuber that we watch, also a Twitch streamer, but we watch his streams cut up. He does a if I laugh, the video ends, Jimmy here. And for a long time, like that video would make him laugh. So just his fans would edit that in different <laughs> ways. To like, uh, there was one time where, you know, the metal pipe dropping noise? Yeah. Instead of doing the gorp, it was that. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, also, like, if a, if a human were to fall on you and it's dead, you'd be like, oh, wow, get this off from me. Yeah. But That'd a bug, terrifying. you're like, oh, thank God it's dead. I mean, also an alive human, I'd be like, get this off of me. <laughs> oh, no. What if I fell on you? But I was dead. Get this off. Same answer. <laughs> You'd say, get this gross thing that I hate to love. <laughs> God damn it. So uh, they go back home and she's just like, the sister's like, is hysterical, like coming down from a tizzy. And the brother, you guys were saying this was mean. I thought he was being a dipshit. That's no, why. the brother was like helping her like drink water to calm down. I thought he was, as she was drinking, pouring more water into uh-uh. the glass so she would not stop drinking. No. Because <laughs> that's some shit I would have done as a dipshit <laughs> kid. Just being like, yeah, all right, keep drinking, keep drinking. You want to stop? Go. Keep drinking. <laughs> and then you say, oh, I'm out of that tizzy. Thank you so much, Jose. Well, I said he was a shit because he said, yeah, we all call him Roach Boy at school. Yeah, I don't think he's a bully. He just, like, goes along with the pack too much. Yeah, he's a shit. Yeah. I mean, that's still considered bullying. Uh, yeah, I guess he he's, like, well, uh, I'm not going to defend this kid, but, like, it might be wrong. I don't know. 
Kind of sounds like you're defending him, James. Yeah. I am. Yeah. I like this kid. He's he's. I like he's the cut shit. of his. You're defending complicity. When it's about a kid throwing roaches, yeah, that kid deserves to be. Bu- he no, yo, that kid is bullying other people. He's throwing it's roaches a on prank, people. Bro. No, uh, uh-uh. we'll get into pranks in a it's, little it's bit. A it's, a prank. Prank. it's a prank. It's a prank. <laughs> it's a prank. <laughs> No, Chew, it's a prank. It's, not. <laughs> it's a prank. Bro, oh, Chew. I said, Nicole, don't pull roach yanks. It will summon your father. Because the kid is like doing this to like, oh, oh yeah, yeah, if yeah. I if I'm throwing roaches, my dad will come home to scold me. Yeah. yeah if I'm a if I'm gonna be an asshole, my dad will be back for sure. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sorry, kid. Your dad never came back with the milk. Uh-huh. No cigarettes to be found. Because he smoked them all and died, then fell on your mom, and your mom was like, get him off. Wow. He's just leaking smoke from all orifices. Because he smoked all those cigarettes in the world. Okay. That's what would happen. Okay, so Hitomi and Hakase, maybe that's her name. I think that might be someone from Akiba Ranger. Who knows? No, I think it is. Hitomi. Wait, no, that's this. <laughs> <laughs> no, Hitomi and Hitomi. Uh, hold on. I will say this next thing, then I will look up her name. But they're both outside, and then another roach is on her because the roach kid was running around. Yeah. Rika. Rita. Rita. And we'll just call him Roach. And then... She sees that and Takuya goes, man, it's fine. And then she walks over to the sister, Hatomi does. And then the kid's like, yeah, you guys got a roach on you. And they both do this comical double faint, like in each other's <laughs> arm side. It was so funny. Oh, yeah. My favorite part was when the roach kid says, like, we got to stick together because we're both scorned by society. Yeah. And I was like, man, that's so relatable. Like when you're a kid and you're just like, you're just like, oh man, everyone's out to get me. <laughs> I, the only thing I can relate to is this cockroach. <laughs> Were there anything like that, that you're like, oh, I can only relate to this. What do you, what do you mean? I, like, oh, everyone's out to get me. I can only relate to you cockroach. Mine was like the digi destins. I was like, yeah, you know, like you're stuck in this world that you don't belong in. Like, I wish I were there because, like, I feel like I yeah, belong yeah, yeah, more yeah. there than here. I, not nothing that immediately comes to mind. For me, it was movies. I, I watched a lot of movies growing up. Okay. So it wasn't like a specific media that I was like, I wish I was there. It was just more of like, oh, I wish I would rather be in this movie than be in the real world right mm-hmm, now. Mm-hmm. Shinko. Shinko. Hakase, I think, well, is from like Akiba Ranger or something. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's from Chainsaw Man. Oh. Because I hear people talk about that. So I think I, I don't even need to see the first season. I don't think Hakase is a character. So I can watch it without you. Uh, no, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding, Nicole. Yeah, Hakase is not a character in here. I meant in Chainsaw Man. As no, well. it's not. I'm thinking of power. <laughs> Just power. That's all you got to think about. Sharp teeth. Heavy melon breast. What more could a man ask for? She's like a, pri- a pixie dream girl, but Who like. power? Power, isn't oh, that? Oh, duh. I was like, what the fuck are you talking From about? From Chainsaw Man. From Chainsaw Man. Yeah. Power's a demon. Oh, uh-huh. it's a demon. Yeah. Sharp teeth, heavy melon breasts. Who else could I be talking about? Horns, blonde yeah. hair. She's like a manic pixie dream girl, but like. The violent version. Yeah. I wouldn't even say, I'd just say, uh, she's just violent. No, and guess what? Nowhere near Manic Pixie Dream Girl. <laughs> Chainsaw Man's a violent virgin. He is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's a true statement. Yeah. I'm not lying over here. Everything I say, I told you, we're spitting the truth today. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How does no one ever notice Spider-Man in their window? Like, he casts a shadow. If a squirrel crawls across the power line near our living room, I see that. I'm like, oh, yeah, there's something weird over here. Not if the window's behind you. No, yes. Like, if I see, I'll, I notice the shadows. 
He's too fast, so by the time they realize it, he's already gone. But the shadow! It's, yeah. You know what it is? No, okay. That's part of his spider power. Oh. Is that he, like, people don't notice he's there. Okay. He cast a shadow the size of a spider. Oh, dang. <laughs> yeah. that That's as crazy as thinking of what the universe is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, how does that happen? Because his true form is a spider. Okay. My true form is a liger from Zoids. Why? Because it rhymed with tiger okay. or spider. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I still can't get over what you said about the Leo Pardon suit. Oh, that it got stolen? Yeah. Yeah. So fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, like, guys, you have to try to make another one. <laughs> exactly. Like, yes, for maybe 10 episodes, you'll have to use stock footage, but I think in like 10 weeks, we can make another. They probably said fuck. They probably ran out of money in the oh, budget. For, no, they did. So like, They 100% did. They're like, we cannot spend another dime. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah uh, we we can't have any safety precaution for you when you climb up all these terrifying buildings, <laughs> stunt man. That's what the rigging is for. Yeah, but it's still, it was scary. I know. The kid says like, hey, mom, what do you want for dinner? How about bread? And oh, bread dinners. Oh, my 20s. <laughs> oh, my God. Nicole, you said what you went to pastry school. Yeah. And when you would bring home those like baguettes. Yeah. I would have them like staying during the wintertime in my car. And it, that would be my breakfast a lot of times. I'm just eating a baguette. I mean, I think that's fine Are you French? for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Okay. Pardon my French, but baguette. <laughs> Uh, oh, what? Did you say something French but sound like you're a Spaniard at the same time? Uh, they're very close, you know? <laughs> they share know a lot that, of the same words. But I'm just saying the way you said it sounded like you spoke Spanish from Spain. And they're both romantic languages. Uh, yeah? You know? I guess. If you, like, if yeah, I... Yeah, if you do it right. Do I dream in French? Do I dream in Spanish? Or do I dream in English? You know, that's the conflict of my life. Because I'm all three of those. <laughs> you being stoned and being the one to lead the episode is very <laughs> frustrating. Well, if I lead, you follow <laughs> everywhere that you tell me to. <laughs> do you want to lead? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, Jose, do it. <laughs> I'm the guest here. Oh, the, Sean was doing it because I was stoned. <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh. It's actually, it's funnier because when he's leading, I'm the one interjecting and I do like comedy. When I'm leading, he's interjecting with the Catholic church needs to be stopped. <laughs> and I'm like, Jesus Christ, man, focus on jokes. Yeah. The Catholic church needs to be stopped, James. I mean, it does. I, I didn't take a lot of notes because I was trying to keep up with the episode and be honest with you. Yeah. It's kind of hard for me to... Oh, yeah. Type yeah, and fine. then read at the same time. Well, so. speaking of the mother who uh, she had a bad ticker and I wrote down, I hope to one day be a weak hearted woman or no, I hope to, w to I hope to. <laughs> oh, I hope to be a weak hearted wife one day. Oh, man. what? Because then I'm then I'm a wife, you know, why weak hearted? If that's what it takes, if like a wizard said, yeah, I can change you into a lady, but you'll have a weak heart. I'm like, OK, all right. <laughs> all right. I'll probably still live longer. Yeah. Th that scene was also very sad. I'm not going to lie. Like, <laughs> Yeah. She's over there making like flowers for her husband that's not there. And her son's like, Mom, what do you want to eat? Like, what are you like? Let's let's get some food in you. Uh -huh. Oh, whatever you want, dear. I'm OK with, with nothing. Yeah, then he goes to the, the grocery store and he's like, hey, give me all your crust. And then he hands just a bag of bread crust. And then this kid starts coming up to him and bullying him, saying like, oh, yeah, you're poor as hell just buying bread crust. I know that's not for your dog. You're the dog. I'm sorry. You're the roach. And he beat the shit out of that kid because that kid fucking deserved uh -huh. it. Yeah. Well, screaming, how does it feel being beaten by a roach? Yeah, yeah, that was badass. Uh-huh. And then the mom of the kid's like, oh, quit ruining my baby. No, sorry. The way in which you raised him ruined him. 
Yeah. What Teach your shit. child empathy, you piece of uh-huh. trash. Teach your kid, like, to be the bigger person. Yeah, that kid probably threw roaches on your son, but, like, the son should be the bigger person. Well, also, like, kids are assholes. We found out from Spider-Man's little brother that they bully him all the time. Yeah. This kid's mm-hmm. definitely lonely and poor, and all the kids at school just treat him like shit because of it. I, but, like, because he's, they call him a roach because he's throwing roaches they on everyone. They probably did that before he started throwing the roaches, because their kids are assholes. Maybe, but he used to be wealthy. Yeah. And so the, they probably thought he was cool, and then, like, oh, he's sad. No one knows that he's sad, but he's like, no one, I gotta get my dad back. Let me throw some roaches. Why is that the thing you think of? Wow, James loves bullies. I do. Yeah, I was bullied, so now I gotta become one. No, you, you are just a bully, defend though. Infiltrate. You are a bully, though. Who? How? Yeah, every time. What? Every, every time, time what? Every time we come over here, you just bully all of us. How? Hey, sit there. Adjust the mic. What are you doing? Put your phone away. I thought you were going to say, what are you doing? How have you been since the last time you were on a podcast <laughs> with us? I'm like, so, so I'm just doing, just the, doing podcast? the podcast? <laughs> what is your experience with Spider-Man? See a bully. Then you are. <laughs> oh, you're asking me questions and shit? Like I should answer? Then then dang, I guess I never got bullied in, in uh, middle school. Yeah. Quit prying, James. So we see Spider-Man in his suit and it is clean. Because in the past few episodes, it's just gotten dirtier and dirtier. (laughs) They don't bother to wash it, but it's clean again. Yeah. It's bright. They were like, hey, our thing got stolen. We got to make this suit look Uh clean at least. Dry clean only. That's so funny. We got renewed for episodes. Uh Uh-huh. Shit. (laughs) It would be like if, if in Game of Thrones, like, Halfway through season one, the throne was stolen. And they're like, I guess just sit him in a chair or we'll like just ADR previous interactions with it. Yeah. God. <laughs> so fuck. So the kid starts telling the, the, the Spider-Man how his father was taken. And you, as we explained, some loan sharks said like, you were the co-signer, we're taking you. And they say, we're a loan company. It's what we do. And that's like, if people are like, how come you guys always talk about pee-pee? And it's like, we're a podcast. It's what (laughs) we we do. do. Yeah. I am trying to achieve the elusive PPP. That's triple P. P -P -P? Uh Uh-huh. PPP. It's PPP. PPP. Do you do PPP, PPP, or PPP? PPP. Oh, that's a new one. That sounds like someone shooting guns. PPP. Pee 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 pee. Nicole, usually you love piss humor, <laughs> but these turned into gun humor. I just, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pee pee pee. So uh, to uh, get the lay of the land, Takuya goes in his street clothes to this. What is his, what was it called? Uh, it's a businessman financing. Uh-huh. Clearly a front if it has a name like that. And he goes in, asks, hey, I need a hundred thousand yen for- To repair my bike. Yeah, to repair my bike. It needs fixes. And they're like, oh yeah, let, let's just check into it. Then we clearly see Amazonis is there in her street clothes. And Takuya looks and then she quickly slides it. And then the phone rings. And it's as if she's like- Please, just whatever you do, just whatever means necessary, get that numb nuts out of here. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of seeing this yeah. dumbass. He's a himbo. Is he? Yeah. It, like his persona that he's projecting of like, hey, I'm dumb and I don't yeah. know what's going on, but he's, you know, handsome. Yeah. I got himbo dar. Oh, shit. Or is it pee pee pee? Uh, it's. Not gonna do it. Pee pee pee. Okay. She did it. We knew you had it in you. Pee included. (laughs) But what about the quadruple pee? Oh, I can't do that. That's too much. My brain explodes. Black hole just creates. So uh, the kid gets taken because he's like, Spider Man didn't show up. I'll find out what's with this loan company now. They take him. They're like, Why are you throwing roaches at us, sir? That is a child. And they take him to where the father's being held in this prison. 
And the I want to say something real quick. We're never this. F- we're almost done. And we're only 44 minutes into the recording. Me being stoned is good for the show. OK. <laughs> OK. But I'm, I just took a tiny bit. Tiny bit. Uh huh. This this wall has not like deepened. It's not gotten further. Uh-huh. Usually it does do that. This wall becomes like a space hole. Mm-hmm. Becomes like the crevices at like a glacier or no, not the cre- No, it's like in Star Wars when you're like looking out in space, but it's like it, it looks like that, but like not space. Gotcha. Like when you're in the huge spaceship and there's just like area. It looks like the first level of Star Wars Dark Forces 2 Jedi Knights. Okay. So that kid, Takuya, he goes to where that kid, Roach Boy, they are staying and is about to get killed. But he, when he jumps up, there's this fencing around the base and it explodes. And he's like, oh, there's a strong electrical current running through. No, sir. That's a strong current of explosives. Yeah. Be careful from that. Yeah. Liquid nitrogen. Yeah. Liquid nitroglycerin is what I meant to say. Yes. Is nitroglycerin a liquid? I don't know. It's more like a gel. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, but it, I think. Crash Bandicoot lied to us. Can he like go in a box and blow up immediately? Whereas TNT takes three seconds. Oh, you got to break the box so in order for it to break. That's, okay. To blow up. That's so why. you do need to touch. like You got to break the box instead of lighting the match. Okay. Break the box down. The only way to break it, though, you got to jump on top or spin. Yeah. You know? Well, no, with nitroglycerin, if you touch it, it explodes. True, true. But we're talking about the box theory. Box theory. I'm, that's just, a... I'm talking about Crash Bandicoot. Eventually, we're going to watch a movie, a sci-fi action movie that's called Box <laughs> Theory. <laughs> Well, there has to be. Probably. And if it's not, we're right in it. So they want, they they attacked this dude, took him from the Lone Shark Company because he was a security guard at Interpol. But it's wild because they're like, we show us on these blueprints where the ventilation shafts are. You can just go into a building in 1978, look up and go, there's a ventilation shaft. Or if they're trying to do it from the top bottom, just fill them all up. You they're, think they're, just... they're going to let a random person into their Interpol building? They'll find a way. But then how will they, do they go up to the roof? Is that what they're trying to figure out? They're just trying to find how the vents work so they can pass the poison gas through it. Yeah, yeah. Just, then just like blast all the vents. Well, there might be. Yeah, true. We'll see. I mean, I don't know. Have don't the know. cockroach edge all day and then he's built up. By the time he gets up, he can... Puff some smoke down a few holes. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, obviously. That's how things work, James. My second to last note was I love the dad saying because they're like, well, okay, we killed all these people. You see how quickly this roach gas works. We're going to kill your son if you don't tell us these secrets. And then the dad's like, sorry, kid, but I can't give up Interpol to terrorists. And the kid goes, yes, father, I understand. <laughs> And then he's getting gassed out, but then Spider-Man shows up out of nowhere and just starts beating shit to hell. I have a theory why the kid lasted so long in the poisonous gas, though. Because he's full of roach? Because he's around roaches all the time. Uh Uh-huh. He's not allergic. he held his breath. Yeah, that too, I guess. (laughs) True, but he kept opening his mouth at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe there's roaches in his mouth just, like, breathing in oxygen and then puffing it into his mouth. Uh Uh-huh. Or he, like, uses them as, like, extra, like, oxygen, like, like, blood capsules, but it's, like, it releases oxygen. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Obviously. The roach is a rebreather. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And then the kid's safe and he's screaming to everyone, I'm no longer pulling yanks. And then the ghoulies are there saying, thank God. (laughs) And uh, (laughs) yeah, you better laugh. Uh, He's doing the screaming. What's the note, James? And he goes into it like to the trash can at this uh, castle themed train yard. And (laughs) he... Just throws them in the trash in a plastic wrapped bag. And I'm like, give them a proper funeral. Like, this was kind of foul. Like, or at least release them back into nature so someone can eat them. Ew. And by someone, I mean, like, an animal. Nah, he said fuck them roaches. So, fuck them roaches. Are they an apex prey? Do that? Does no one eat them? I mean, by no one, I mean no animal. I think animals do eat them. Okay. More need to, okay? Not really sure, though. Uh, I think... 
Spiders do eat roaches. Okay. I don't know. I might be wrong, though. I don't know. Don't know much about roaches other than that they're nasty. Do you think you're more of an alpha, a beta, or a sigma? Sigma balls. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Nicole? Alpha, because I got that thick ass. (laughs) Okay, hell yeah. I thought you were going to say alpha my dick. (laughs) That doesn't make sense. Yeah, you go, oh, oh, whoa. That's what elfing is. Whoa. Sigga your shit. Oh, damn hey. it. Bay to the moon with you. Wow. I call Nicole Bay now. Awesome. Gross. Bay.com. Ew. Nicole, so Nicole's sister was called that by a, a spouse, I believe. Ex boyfriend. Yeah. An ex spouse. Uh, my last note is whoa, plot twist. None of them died. Uh huh. Plot hiss. This was fun. Yeah, man. I got to come back for another Spider-Man episode. Oh, for sure, baby. You got to come back when it's the Green Goblin, but it isn't the Green Goblin, but because it's painted silver. Okay. That's wow. a That's a real yes. good one. And more like the 90s cartoon, not Green Goblin, Hobgoblin. Gotcha. It's, it's very fun. I think I said off podcast that this is like my second favorite episode. No, it was on podcast. Oh, okay. Never mind then. Okay. Nirvana. I know the album. So, Jose, uh-huh. Spider-Man generally, in most canon, he gets bit by a spider with radioactive blood in him yeah. and then gets the power of a spider. So, if you were to be bit by an animal, what animal would you want it to be so you can get powers related to them? And what would those powers be to take down the Iron Cross army? Probably Salamander. Whoa. Or, uh, uh, not Salamander. Um, Komodo Dragon. Whoa. Okay. That's good. That's good. Fight people. Give them poison. That's it. All right. Yeah. Tackle their ass. Yeah. Whip them with a tail. Ah. Don't know where the tail came from. Does Jose just always have a tail? Maybe yeah. he just has a whip. Oh, maybe his arm is like he can make it like a rubbery and it just like whips him real quick. Ew. Ew. I guess tails aren't rubbery. Like the, it's made of bone. Yeah. Okay. But it'd be cool if, like, you just whip them like that, or it, your tongue grows real long. They can move like rubber, though. They can what? Move like rubber. Oh, move like, I thought you said move leg proper. And I was like, <laughs> what? I'm so sorry to do this, but I have to use the bathroom. Okay. He's got to do the elusive quintuple P. P, 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 P. P, P. P, P. Yo, I'm a piss boy. I'm liking my hands. I'm because a piss you- girl. In a pee in a pan. Oh, (laughs) damn. And then she sizzles it up. (laughs) Serve it to you in a fucking cup. Oh, no. You heard what she said? You'll never get that image out of your head. Hell, yeah. I was going to say, maybe you could say... I rain pee-pee on all of your heads. Yeah, no. No, yours was a lot better. Because I would never get that image out of my head, brother. Never. You peeing into a sizzling pan. Yeah. Or you peeing into, like, when you, like, get stuff at a restaurant. What are the ones that, uh, the a sizzler? What's the? It's a like. Skillet. A skillet. Yeah, that's, like, always popping. Yeah. You pee onto a skillet in a Chili's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, whoa, what's that? Or What's that aromatic scent? <laughs> my pores are opening. <laughs> what? Because the pores are just trying to suck in that pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> That's what spas get wrong. Yeah. They should be pissing on those wet rocks. Yeah. I mean, those hot rocks. Yeah. And then your pores just take in that that sodium. It's sterile. Uh-huh. I'm sterile. Doctors are always just peeing on their hands. Yeah. To make sure they're sterile. So, Jose, how would you use that to take down the Iron Cross, though? Like, if you were to go up against Roach with uh, Komodo dragon powers. Uh, shit. Shit. I think Pit. go for the legs, sweep the leg with the tail. Okay. Bite him with the poison, run <sighs> around, come oh, back. You're, you're going to bite into a big roach? That's what the poison's for. We're going to call you Roach Kisser. Okay. <laughs> That'll be known as the Roach Kissy. The oh, ro- dang. Roach Moocher. He's, he's owning it. The Roach Moochie. Uh-huh. That's me. That's what on Snowpiercer, if someone, like, whenever they got their food and they're like, oh, I love you so much, I'd be dead without you, they kiss their food. Now he's the Roach Kisser. That's me. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
It's got to be like there has to be other bugs that you can make in batches. Oh, hold on. You said bugs. Now I'm thinking about a bug. What about a bug? Mm. Bugs Bunny? I'd be a ladybug. Wait, now you're changing it to bug? No, I'm just thinking about if it was a bug, I'd be a ladybug. Okay. And you'd be like the one in Bugs Life. Yeah. Yeah. Tearing down gender norms. Just yeah. Con- like giving people an a- like an attitude so badly that they, uh, they're they like so distraught. Like, oh, God. You bully them. Whoa, you're a bully now. Holy Look, I'm not Christmas. a ladybug, Holy so shit. excuse me. I wasn't, I'm not there yet. I'm not in my final form, Whoa. so I can't be a bully yet. Now, Nicole, you're bullying him for not being a ladybug yet. Or if he were a ladybug, you'd prejudice him by what? bullying. I'm so confused. <laughs> you were saying like, oh, now you're a bully, you ladybug. Because he you're... said that that would be his power. Yeah, but now you're bullying him for like, that's just what ladybugs do. It's like debt collectors. It's like us talking about pee It's just what we do. Yeah. <laughs> you can take someone if you work for a loan company. Okay. Take them out for a dinner, that is. Uh-huh. And when they sign the check, uh-oh, they actually signed a check for the loan company. Hey, you got their signature. Uh-huh. By any means necessary. Well, I guess that's the episode. Any peens necessary. Oh, any peens necessary? That's me at the glory hole. Yay, yay. <laughs> 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 any peens necessary? <laughs> that's me. I'm the director of a glory hole. I'm like, any peens? Yeah. yeah you want, go, go, go. If it can <laughs> fit, if it can, you want to know, it doesn't even need to get hard. As long as it can fit through that <laughs> hole, I'm fine. Yeah, someone's going to have like, like, Thick gum in their mouth, okay? I don't give a shit if it's soft. Oh my god. <laughs> you should be a manager of a glory. Yeah. Damn, that's my calling. <laughs> there is that that like porno, like glory hole swallow. And like there is technically a manager of that. And there's multiple glory holes, I think, because you like hear other people having sex well. So like that's just probably a business like a warehouse that they just made a bunch of rooms that are glory holes in oh no <laughs> you guys gotta check it out the story arcs in those are really neat <laughs> <laughs> sometimes they come back for more <laughs> Jesus Christ! it's like hey this is carol's third time at the glory hole yeah she says i'm gonna be fucking and sucking and Swallowing even more this time. Yeah. Any peen necessary. Any peen necessary. <laughs> necessary. Wow. Jose, thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you for having me. You know, I love coming to do these podcasts with y'all. It's always a blast. And we love going to your place to podcast now. It's great. We uh-huh. love having you guys over. We got to have you guys over, though, for not a podcast. Oh, just yeah. a hangout one of these days, though. And you guys got to come over here for just a hangout someday. Hell yeah. James, I don't think that's possible. For me not to podcast? For you not to podcast. Well, no, he has to come over and we got to watch Troll 2 and eat cheeseburgers. That's what we talked about, yeah. Yeah. Brother. Which I think I'm making like $1,200 this month. That's like calculated how much I'll make. So, yeah. That's awesome, dude. That might buy me a cheeseburger. Wow. Even though I got to save up for, for Vegas and... Oh, wait. Vegas, baby. Real quick, do you have anything to plug? Just Death to Squiz like we did at the beginning. And it's available for free to listen wherever you're listening to this. I know people are like, but I thought that was a, a Patreon show. No, this one is not. This one is for the free. Uh-huh. And speaking of going to Vegas, oh, guys, please... Head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod. The, the comic book store is paying for my bills, but I want the Patreon to, like, it'll help supplement some income, but it'll also help us grow this network. Eventually, maybe I could buy some mics to just keep at Joe and Jose's so I don't need to cart those over. I just got to do the digital recorder. That'd be sick. Actually, it wouldn't be microphones because something much cheaper that would actually be just the easiest thing to put over there is mic stands. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So, guys, like, that's, let's get us a few mic stands over at Joe and Jose's house. Go over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod where for $5 a month you get exclusive content every single Friday. This Friday, it's Lil Corey's birthday month. So, uh, this existed is discussing what is it? Stay Alive, the 2000. 2000- seven movie with Frankie Muniz in it yeah it's a okay. uh, 
it's bad but good. Is that the one I'm thinking of where they're they playing a video game? Yeah, they're they're being haunted in a video uh-huh. game. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie. Yeah, we're so, discussing it, baby. Sophia Bush is in that too. Oh uh, yes, that I only know that because the reviews kept being horny for Sophia Bush. <laughs> Makes sense. She was pretty popular back then. Sophia Bush? How about you? So feel my Bush, guys. I don't want to. Why not? Because it's yours. It's my George Bush. Ooh, then I really H-W. don't want to. Then I really don't want uh-uh. to. Uh-uh. He's fine. No. W's bad. HW, kind of good. HW, didn't he know. try, he wanted to see if he can turn all of Texas uh, Republican, and he succeeded? Oh, maybe. But he didn't get Austin. They're staying weird. I love it. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh, yes. And next month, because it's Lil Corey's birthday month, I couldn't do what I wanted to do because, like, I would be taking away him choosing a movie for this existed. So, hey, hey, it rhymes now. We are doing nothing but, in July, the Citizens of Townsville Z, where we're just discussing the Powerpuff Girls Z, and it is for Pride in July. All right. So it's going to be a fun time. Oh, wait, shoot. I needed to also plug this. Kaiju Icon, June 28th and 29th. For sure, we have R2 Shelby 2 returning for Mothra 2 and Rob from Tokyo Lives podcast on Tokyo Live. No, Tokyo Lives. Lives isn't a word. Oh, no, lives is a word. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> You're getting there, James. He's coming on for the final Power Rangers movie, the one from like 2017. And then we have one pseudo confirmed and waiting on another, but it's going to be a fun time. And those will, you'll get four episodes of Mostly Speaking Sentai in July. It's going to be a good time. More details to follow. But if you're a $10 patron, you get shout outs on every single free feed podcast as long as well as, I mean, straight to Patreon, a monthly bonus stuff. Jose's been on it recently. Hey. Joe's been on it a bunch. And then Pearl, a.k.a. Torchy Berry, was just on talking about Transmorphers for our Summer Mockbuster series. Oh, and they get shout outs on every single free feed f- podcast. So let's begin with those, starting with Steve F., Eric Berry of Ranger Command Power Hour, Alex Z, The Waz, Orion, Jordan B., The KS Witch, My Bickle Brother and Common Law, Joshua, Jake, is Steve Barnes, A Sweet Child of Time, My Mother, Lil Corey's BFF, and now former roommate Shane, That Fed, Twitch.tv forward slash Core Winning, it's Core Win, and from the ROM Complex, as well as formulaic podcast and script writing, it's Twitch.tv forward slash R2 Shelby 2. Guys, I wasn't looking at the list let's go yeah. <laughs> which means hey maybe we need another ten dollar patron if i have memorized the entire list yeah, yeah yeah nicole what do you have to plug as always i'm darling homebody on social media and visit darlinghomebody.com for all the stuff that i made yeah! i got new stickers uh-huh. that are gonna come out uh, there's a cicada one and, and sticker it's... book cool yeah sticker book I'm working on those. The other ones are are gonna be uh, restocked soon, and there's a new capybara one. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. But currently, I have new magnet sets. Oh yeah, with the capybara one as well as the axolotl one, and the front. All of them are really yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, they're cute. They're fantastic. We're, we should watch Milf Manor two after this. Okay. Hell yeah! I've been James. I'm Nicole. I'm Jose. And we've been a mostly, mostly speaking Sentai. Bye bye. I almost did Death Beep. to Squids there. <laughs> this has been a Marshland Media production, produced by James McCullum. For more content, please visit mlmpod.com. To support our network and have access to exclusive podcasts, head over to patreon.com forward slash MLM pod and sign up today. Oh, yeah.